and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. I'm Hilton Price. The price of natural gas in the United States continues to remain lower than average due to warmer winter weather. Bloomberg reports the mild temperatures have resulted in little demand for heating fuel, contributing to the continual drop in natural gas futures. Last year, temperatures in New York and Chicago were between 4 and 7 degrees warmer than usual, and 2012 is expected to top that and could be the warmest year on record. An analyst at the Energy Management Institute told the Wall Street Journal that the natural gas market may continue to decline as temperatures are forecasted to remain above normal. Since the middle of November, futures have dropped 12 percent. The Australia energy market operator expects the country will face a natural gas shortage by 2016 if new reserves are not opened up. AEMO forecasts investment requirements for the gas industry and said the liquefied natural gas exports from Queensland, which should begin in 2014, will have a significant impact on the domestic gas market. The AEMO also expects gas prices to increase in Australia over the next four years. Some companies are urging the Australian government to limit how much gas is sold to foreign countries in order to keep domestic prices and resources secure. The Ruskaya Compressor Station site hosted celebrations marking the construction startup of the South Stream gas pipeline. The celebrations were attended by Russian President Vladimir Putin and many Russian dignitaries and business leaders. The South Stream project will handle natural gas exports across the Black Sea to southern and central Europe. The total length of the Black Sea section will exceed 900 kilometers, its maximum depth will be more than 2 kilometers, and its design capacity is for 63 billion cubic meters. First gas supplies via the gas pipeline are scheduled for late 2015. Noble Corporation reports it has entered into two separate definitive agreements for the sale of two standard Jackup drilling units. The first agreement is for the 300-foot water depth capable Jackup Noble Lewis Duggar and is with a wholly owned subsidiary of a Mexico company, Goimer SA. The second agreement is for the sale of the 150-foot water depth capable Noble Don Walker to Axis Petro Consultants Limited, a private company in Nigeria. Hess Corporation announced a discovery at the Pecan One Exploration Well located in the Deepwater Tano Cape Three Points license offshore Ghana. The well has encountered 245 net feet of oil pay in two separate Turonian intervals. Hess currently has a 90% interest in the block. The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation holds the remaining 10%. Pecan One is Hess's fifth discovery on the block. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and many more, head to penenergy.com. 